same interview. Fourth month. Okay, Taylor. I didn't know you were a Swifty. Yeah, you did. It's yeah, fun. Oh, it's an easy Swifty. Oh, he's a such um, a Swifty. It's often depressed me. Because I never know what I, 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 you read me back what I said last month and I'm like, I haven't done that. Well, this is the point. Like, you time meant to just moves so far. Yeah, it does, especially in the fashion world. Hello, everyone. Welcome to same interview, fourth month as Sophie does this behind the camera. <laughs> Let, on the same questions, Sophie's gonna remind me what I said last month. I'm probably gonna be annoyed that I haven't actioned anything because you blink and a month goes, but let, here goes. Here. My name still remains Amy Smale. So glad, so glad. One day it will change. 24th of August. 2023. 2023. 166,000. Last month, you had 152. Really? Yeah. I feel like our Instagrams are really thriving. Yeah, it is. Which is good because there was a point There was a point, time. yeah, or it wasn't. Um, it's funny how like, Instagram really picks up and then TikTok it slows down. It, it yeah. yo yo's. They can't like win together. 246.2k. Had 235.2 last month. Nice. I feel like this month's been a bit slow. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> We're trying to think why that is. Why like, is that, guys? Why the work it? has been incredible, but is it because it's all sitting in our drafts? Yeah. Like, like do we now, do we, I think we're better off planning shoots way closer to normal, like literally go to New York the week of soft launch. We just you know try, I mean? we try to be so organised. So it's all so current. Yeah. Because I think obviously it's so important to be organised from a stock point of view to know what you're bringing out to have the stock there. But I think content is so like it comes into like, media, yeah, yeah. It's trending, and you mm. just got to get it out there. I was feeling a little bit uninspired, and I just re-uploaded our best TikTok because I just thought this TikTok got like 10 million on TikTok, TikTok. Like the views. Um, so. In my mind, I'm like, obviously people really like that video, let's put it on Instagram. Yeah, some people like- Can't you buy a bathroom? Yeah, well, that's not the point. That's what? not fun, it's for content. It's for content. Like, I'm not doing, I'm not seriously doing this out of choice. Like, I'm not going to another party and changing the streets. I'm a fashion designer, I'm doing quirky things to promote my clothes. <laughs> I'm guys. just a quirky girl. <laughs> I'm a designer. I'm just what quirky. can I say? Ooh. Last month, we said Mae Riley. I would say the most influential person in the DMs is Paige Lorenz. I thought she'd come up. Because she wore our oat set and I have not seen an influencer bring so much attention to this brand or any brand in forever. Like since Lorna first wore our blazer. When someone engages like that, you know that their content is like real and they're like people really respect their opinion. She's got her own life, she's an entrepreneur. And I think there's just so much more substance in that and it really converts. Yeah. Um, and I really enjoy following her. Okay. So the most recent um, thing to go live was the Simple City Statements, um, which was amazing. And that launch went really, really well. And I'm really excited to extend our Simple Statements range because they are the best everyday clothes, but they're also so odd news. And it took us a while to get there. Um, so yeah, I was really proud of that. Favorite piece would probably be the trench. Yeah. Because I just feel like, I've been, I mean, we're in like, it's hot right now in the UK, but I've just been like carrying it everywhere with me because the thing about the, the UK is when it's hot, it's not guaranteed. So you do need that layering piece and like the trench is the perfect one for that. Yeah. And throughout winter, it will always be like a layering piece above jumpers and stuff like that. This month, my favorite moment being has... in New York with me. Yeah, <laughs> it, it has to be New York related. Do you know what? <laughs> what? It's gonna hate this answer. Is it gonna be when I'm you really travel really alone? Really <laughs> the day that I wasn't with Sophie. Favorite moment. I sat with you in JFK is so rubbish. It's like a name as well. Like JFK, I thought was meant to be great. Yeah. No. It was gross. That's fair throw. Yeah. So much better. I love you for it. Ten and five. Ten and five. <laughs> that first day in Soho, I spent alone. Because I wasn't working. Yeah, fair. You could have been there, but I wasn't yeah, working. So I could have been there. And I was like just mooching around, going in all these different stores that I'd never heard of before and 
then when I got back to the hotel room, I was looking into all these brands when they started and I just like did my own little comp shop and I love when I have moments where it's sort of like work related, but it's truly just like what I'm interested in and there's no real pressure on it. Mm. So I really enjoyed that day. And later that evening I came. Yeah, so, and then when Sophie came, it was just Cherry on top. can't pick a favourite moment. <laughs> Do you know what you said last year? Last what year, was last month? Challenge. Because the, what, the previous one you said change, so then you said challenge. This month, for, for, for August. Whole of August. Um, chaos. God, you like these seeds, don't you? <laughs> change, challenge, chaos. Why chaos? Because I've just been, I feel like I'm here, there, everywhere in terms of um, actual like where what country i'm in at the moment mm. and also i feel like i mean at all times i'm in like a million different conversations because of things that i want to do for the brand so it's like completely understandable but yeah i do just it's feel like, like chaos yeah yeah i feel like i'm spending a lot of time at home lately so that's where i just feel like my feet are just there mm. and i can deal with chaos a lot better at home definitely um, and i can manage conversations digitally um, so if you want to open it and not reply to me that's absolutely fine i'll just see them two blue texts i'm like okay cool yeah i'm just it's, it's just quite a bit chaotic at the moment but it all leads up to what is coming up yeah. and what i wanted to do and, and i'll be successful. so grateful Fantastic. and i'll sleep when i die there we go Oh, this is one I always want to think of. Yeah. I think I wrote it when I was on the plane to New York. I've got a good quote that's like, I've probably said it before. Okay. I actually put it on my LinkedIn yesterday. Nice. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. And that's probably one that you've heard before, mm -hmm. but it's one that's really relevant to me at the moment. One that we, sorry, that's lovely. One that we put down for New York, I remember was, nothing kills more dreams than the fear. The failure. Oh. <laughs> Is you only fail you know. when you quit. What was your final answer? <laughs> we just gave you a five. <laughs> anyway, take me which one you will. Only fail when you give up. Thank you. Rest. Thank you so much. <laughs> what did I say last month? New York. Oh, perfect. Um, I this will go live in the announcement anyway. So I am looking forward to the fashion show being over. The oh. <laughs> Okay. I, do you know what I'm? I'm. I'll be so. This is with every single event. Even when we do like a dinner at Daphne's, I literally sit there like I want it to be over before, mm. and then I get there and I have the best night of my life. And I'm trying to like work on my mindset leading up to it because this is literally like a wedding. Yeah. The florals. I the, felt like it's a wedding. Like, it, I think you've got to plan like the detail. It is literally like a wedding, and yeah. I'm really nervous for it. But you and, need to enjoy the process. Yeah, I'm just. Journey. I'm just scared for the actual like logistics of like the runway show yeah. and then i'm obviously scared to do my little speech at the end which i need to do i'll kick myself if i don't um i need to just get a couple of champagne daniel that's very true just a couple though just a few glasses yeah not too many remind yourself that you want to do things that scare you the reason you are scared is the reason you are doing it Damn. you're so wise i mean i'm still telling myself that now because we haven't approached fashion week yet um but what would i tell myself in september i would tell myself in september because mid through september the fashion show will be over mm -hmm. and hopefully i'll have like i anything that i do that's like crazy like i do feel like i really grow from it like this is my first time public speaking and like hopefully like now we've done a dinner at Daphne's I could do another dinner mm. easy like I would not be nervous for another dinner so I'm hoping to like really grow from this but one thing I'm going to tell myself in September is to just enjoy it like just enjoy what you're doing let that sink in because that's kind of mad said to yourself in July was know your boundaries would you, do you know what I've actually that's one thing that I've done well done. Yeah. Here we go. This is how we do this. Yeah. To look back. I've known my about I've I've learnt my boundaries with my working hours mm. because I I don't necessarily work like nine to five. It is quite fragment fragmented. Like I get my best. I actually said this to someone last night, and I said I get my best work done really early in the morning and really late at night. And then they said, How long do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, 
good point because if I'm working really late and then getting up at six, then maybe that's why I'm so tired. But then I'm not <laughs> that already just got it. No, wait a minute. So yeah, I've been like splitting my working day into like three chunks, mm. and it just works so much better for me. Keep it. Keep going. Keep moving. New yeah. York is intense. Yeah, I've got to be nice. Like every toe cut, blister on every toe. Yeah. New York was like the perfect example of like where I learned my boundaries because it's like you can tell yourself you have five days to shoot, but think about like your actual like physical body and like my legs and how many TikToks I actually want to shoot and like you know it's much nicer to take things a little bit slower where you can have fun with it, get mm. creative. Mm. And I think. My lessons learned from New York is what I tell myself for like the next trip is to maybe focus on like one thing going into these trips. Obviously for us, we saw it as we're going all the way to New York. Let's get all the content for the end of the year. Yeah, but definitely. I think we just set ourselves up really high expectations, which to be fair, regardless, I think we smashed it. Um, but yeah, I think in order to just like enjoy the trip, do you know what? I've actually felt really inspired by Paige Lorenz. Because mm. like I said, tried to explain earlier, like I really love when people share their life and like what they're actually doing in the day and not just sort of like what they're wearing. And, and I feel like I'm really trying to like share more of what I'm doing. I feel really inspired by her. So I'd like to inspire others with what I'm doing every day. Like I think she's got like a really interesting brand and life and I see myself like I feel like I've got that I can give that to someone Definitely. um so yeah she's really inspired me to think a little bit more about how I can share my life beyond just odd muse and I think that will help me because I like to like feel like I'm not just odd muse maybe my Dior bag a saddle yeah I guess so I, I don't think we totally yeah stunning this month is I was actually speaking about this to someone and I've never actually put like Miley Cyrus on there because like if she wore it like I would actually die. Yeah. There would be no one of me. Like, no. I wouldn't be able to breathe. That'd be the end of it. I wouldn't be able to breathe. Like I would just die. Like I could cry right now thinking about it. It's still Australia because there's some things happening out there. So Ooh, full stop. Um well this is a great question following on Naomi Campbell. Time's a pretty little thing. I feel like this is like the era for smaller brands to just make sense of all this rubbish seriously. And I am me. Girl. Red was due. What are you thinking? I said she should have done a skincare she brand. She should have done something a little bit more I like fun. Yeah, because like skin, like she's like, she looks the same as when she first. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That would have been much better. But they must have literally given her like 20 million pounds. Yeah. Like it must have been the most ridiculous offer. August. Live your life. Make sure you are living. That was your last words from last time. Do you think you've lived August? Be honest. Uh, yes and no. It's been chaotic, but I've had a couple. I've, I've had a couple good days. Yeah. Um. Next month, I would tell myself, "Well done." Pat on back. Because you did that. And my team did that. Yes. But I can celebrate my team. I can celebrate myself too much. Do you need a hug right now? <laughs> oh, here she comes. Is she coming for a hug? No. <laughs> Pound the back for you for next Thank month. You. Bye, everybody. See you in end of September.